Welcome back to the Paranormal Review, and today we have a video called Possible Bigfoot in Idaho, Flying the Drone Around and Ran Across This. Uh, this was published June 2nd, 2016, and it says this is a possible Bigfoot running towards the trees, then vanishing in them. 25 seconds into the video, you can see it running on two legs. I wish I were closer to get a better video. You need to watch this on a computer monitor. Uh, if you use your phone, it's too small. It has 128,270 views so far, so it's uh, quite popular on YouTube right now. But um, we're going to take a closer look at this and uh, let me know what you guys think. I took all the audio off because it's just a bunch of weird music. Because, you know, the drone, the propellers and everything, they, they, they take them, those off and put the music in. So anyways, here we go. If you watch the screen, it's going to show up somewhere over here in these bushes. Let's see. All right, so if you see it right over here, we're going we're to rewind it back to the beginning again. So yeah, watch this bush. There's a small little creature. It starts up behind this bush, and then it runs across the field. I'm going to do a zoom in here in a second. It is hard to see. Um, this video does not prove anything, really. It's, it's hard to disprove anything because it is so far away. And we don't have anyone's reactions. We don't have anything like that. So it's hard to say, okay, well, look at the creature. It's obviously fake. There's a couple things we're going to look at in a second, like the size of it compared to the road that it's next to and stuff like that. But it's right here running across the field, okay? And uh, like I said, it's so far away and it's so small that there's no details that we can pick up. When I zoom in here in a second, you're going to see that uh, there's no details that can be picked up from it, okay? It's all just pixelated and you can't see anything okay it ends up running into this tree cover and then we'll show the rest of that in a second let's go to the zoomed in section okay all right so as you can see it's right here running across the screen and as you can see it's just too small there's no detail you can't say okay well it's for sure a bigfoot or a sasquatch um we're going to go into some details here in a second we're going to compare it to the size of that road that it just ran across okay did you see if i pause it right there in the middle of the road it easily fits in the middle of that road, okay? I'm not sure what made these tire marks, whether that's like a, you know, some kind of a truck or if it's a ATV um, or if it's a tractor. So, I mean, it, it could be anywhere from four feet wide to six or seven feet wide if it's a tractor to about, you know, five five feet-ish if it's if it's a, some kind of a truck or a car. So, we, without knowing what kind of a truck or a vehicle that is, it's hard to tell, but we can tell that it fits in between there. So, it's not so huge that it's covering up the whole tra tracks, and we're going to take a little bit more of a screenshot and zoom in on that here in a second. Okay. Some things that could be suspicious about this is there's no footage from before that moment. Okay. Obviously, this person took off with their camera off the ground. Okay. So here we go. Here's the creature. The shadow looks pretty pretty large, but I'm assuming the sun's over here. And this might be sometime in the either in the morning or the evening where the sun's hitting the creature and then putting the shadow down. Um, but we're going to take a look at this creature compared to that road here in a second okay all right so what i've done is i've cropped out this creature and i've placed it over the road okay here's the creature pushed up pushed over the road and then i rotated the creature so that it's straight perpendicular to the road and then i cut off as much of that as possible so you could see the creature in relation to the road okay and as you can see the shadow ends there and the shadow ends at the bottom or not the shadow the the creature the shadow is over here on this one going this way. But as you can see, the uh, the creature, the light area there and the light area there, is the, the this is the bottom and this is the top. So it fits directly into those track marks. Now that means the creature is anywhere from 4 feet to 7 feet tall. Probably shorter than 7 feet. I mean, it doesn't look like a tractor to me. I mean, I, the road's so long, I don't think a, a person would drive a tractor that far on, on any given reason. So to me, this looks like it's a, some kind of a truck so that would put this at about five to six feet maybe which is you know average human height so unless that is a tractor and i'm mistaken but like, like i said there's no way to tell what that is so let's keep watching but it isn't that it isn't that large of a track is what i'm trying to say most likely okay see as you can see what i'm saying is this this road goes from here all the way up around here so that leads me to believe it's some kind of an atv or a truck or some other kind of off-roading vehicle. Um, most likely some kind of a vehicle because of 
I mean, if that creature's only four feet tall, I mean, it's some kid running across the trail, right? So it's probably some kind of a truck, you know? Anyways, guys, the things that are suspicious to me about this video, okay, so it runs into this tree cover, and then he's going to get into this tree cover, and then he just hovers over that tree cover for a bit, and that's it, okay? Now, the things that are suspicious to me about this video is why... I want to know what kind of a drone he has. I want to know if he has first-person view, if he's viewing this while he's filming, okay? Because if we go back to the beginning, okay? What was being filmed before this? Is this just the first time he put this up? Is this where he cut the video and put it online because the rest of it's too boring and nothing to see? Or, or what? Because the creature comes out from behind this bush, okay? And then it slowly walks to over here and then it runs cross and then into this into this into these forests okay if he was back here filming this direction i'd still want to be able to see this okay because did the creature come from over here did it come from over here did it was it hiding out in these trees and then walk over into these bushes and then run over here or is this because the person was hiding behind this bush and then as soon as the copter got to a certain point he decided that he was supposed to run out here also he's pretty centered on that point so did he already know that it was there was he watching it through his camera? Can he even see? Can he even see what's going on in the camera? Um, and if so, why doesn't he descend, right? Why doesn't... If he sees it right here, and he tilts the camera down to it, okay? And then tilts it and gets it centered. And then you see it exit from behind that and start running across the field. I mean, did, did he know that it was already there? Okay, guys, did, I mean, why isn't he descending and getting closer to it at this point? Okay, why does he wait? See right here? Why isn't he descending? Why isn't he descending at this point and going down to look at it? Why does he wait until it's already in the tree cover? So right there. Oh, now let's descend and look at it, right? Right as it's going into the tree cover. You know, is it because it's a, it's a suit? Is it because it's just a guy in a, in a brown pants, brown shirt, and a hoodie? Um, there's just too many things to say, okay, well, this could be suspicious. But then again, there's no way to say that that's for sure a hoax because there's not there's not enough detail. Okay, now let's look at this again real quick. Look at that road. Because tell me how thick, tell me how tall you think that road is. Because depending on how big this road is, we can we can tell that that creature is just a little bit shorter or about the same width as that road. Okay. Now he pans around the forest a little bit, looks around, and then he takes off and goes back up the road. Okay. All right, guys. So tell me, what do you guys think? Did uh. I mean, people say, well, he's running super fast and he's running for that tree cover. Well, if it was a trespasser, you know, if, if you were trespassing on someone's property and then all of a sudden you saw this drone pop up in the in, in the uh, in the air, wouldn't you run for cover too? You wouldn't want to be caught trespassing. So is this just a trespasser? Is it a Bigfoot? Is it just some random person? Is it a hoax? I mean, there's just not any definite evidence on this one to say that it's for sure a Bigfoot or that it's a hoax. So this one's just kind of up in the air. For me, there's just a lot of suspicious things about it. So, what do you guys think? So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Ta uh, leave some comments. Don't forget to uh, check out my survival channel. I'll put it up here in the in the corner. Um, we do a lot of really cool survival skills and different things up in there, uh, nature-related. So, anyways, guys, until next time, please subscribe. We'll talk to you later.